Hi, this is JP with Websites for Beginners. And in this video, we are looking at the Post Masonry block. That is a free additional block that you can get from the Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg by Brainstorm Force. Let's just quickly show you how to get that. If you go into WordPress and you go to your plugins, you simply go and you look at Add New. And from here, you search Ultimate Add-ons. And there are many, so you search Ultimate Add-ons Gutenberg. Here you'll see it with 200,000 plus active installations currently and a five-star rating, one we happily concur with. You install it and you activate it. And after that, you even have control. Go to Settings, UAG, which stands for Ultimate Add-ons Gutenberg. And then you have more information here, documentation, as well as the ability to activate or deactivate those blocks. So in those cases where you have certain blocks, you know you will never use, deactivate them here, and then they will not appear in the WordPress editor. I have a travel blog here for Melissa P, and we're going to bring in the post masonry on this page. And we have decided because this post masonry works exactly as advertised, does a good job on all displays, we give it a five, one, two, three, four, five ferocious cats rating. Why do you want to put posts on your front page? Well, it's like a news section. So when people come to your site, though there is a dedicated blog area, you still want to entice them with some of your posts. So here is a very good example of where you're going to put that. We're going to bring in the posts here, remove this one and bring in the post masonry. Go into your page and we click here in the WordPress toolbar on edit page. We scroll down and when we get here to recent blog post, if I click here, you will see this one is post grid, which is another one of the blocks that come with ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. Let's remove this one and we bring in the post masonry. So I'll click here, most used, and then I will open up ultimate add-ons blocks. And I can look here for post masonry. If you don't find it, because they're sometimes very difficult to find, just type up here post and you will see the selection you've got, post masonry over here. It will think a little bit, look at all the posts you've got, and then populate it with the post masonry design. We've got six posts here currently, and a masonry is a staggered like approach to the post. So they don't have equal heights. They look like this. You see this one is a little bit longer and they all fit in in this stagger brick-like approach. Hence the name masonry. Let's see how you work with this. Make sure that you've clicked on the post to interact with the options here in the sidebar on the right. It starts with general and you have a lot of other settings here. In the general, you can select what kind of posts. You can also include pages. And then you have the normal selection filters like categories and the number of items, how you want to sort it, and in the order you want to sort that. I think what we're interested here is two, and that is the number of items. We only display six. And if you're working with masonry, you need a minimum of two rows. Otherwise, it's weird. And then columns here, we have three columns. We can put it on four columns. And then let's increase this to a number like eight. Uh, and if you cannot get there, just use the up down selectors here. Seems we only have seven. So it staggered it like this. Let's put it back on three and we reduce this again to six to even it out. Within the image, you have the option to show it as a featured image or you can put it as a background. This is a very nice effect too. I'm not entirely sure this is very good for masonry display, but you may find some usage for it, especially if you apply an overlay and you make sure that it's contrasting enough so that the text can stand out. I like it at the top for a masonry display. And then you also have control over how large this image is when you load it, as well as whether you want to keep it or deactivate it. We leave it like so and go to the content. Here you have control over the metadata. Show title, I guess we want that. Show author, I'm gonna deactivate that. Keep the date, no comments I'm showing. I'm deactivating that. And then you have control over the show excerpt or not. Leave that on and then you can increase the length of the excerpt or you can reduce it to something much smaller. Read more link is your call to action button here and this will allow you to do styling to it in terms of how this button looks. 
apply some padding to the top. And the nice thing about working with the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg is that how the settings are applied to the button is unanimous across all of these add-ons. I like that and I mentioned that because a lot of add-on packs out there for different page builders will have different settings for different buttons and different elements and it can be very confusing. Here things remain the same, they are consistent, which makes it very easy to work with. And then you have color styling as well for your buttons. The same goes for typography, all the typography setting here in terms of fonts and your title tag that you wanna to give to these posts as well as your colors down here, which you can also apply to the background. Ooh, that's a little too strong and severe, right? But maybe that fits the theme of your page. Let's see what color this is. Let's go choose a green color. Maybe that will fit a little bit. Olive, that looks olive khaki green. Olive khaki green, that's a new color. We just invented that. Let's go back here. And where did we choose this custom color? Let's paste that E. And then we need to change a few other things here where let me just click here again to activate it. And we find our colors down here, background, title color. Uh, meta color, I'm going to leave it that little bit. No, let's put it a little bit clearer. And then for our exit color, I'm going to put that on white. And in a jiffy, we styled it to maybe fit the feeling of our website. Click on it again to interact with it, collapse that. We had done the colors and we have control over spacing. I urge you every time to go and look at the spacing Make sure you rather apply more spacing. And the gap here is between the rows. So you see I have a row gap here. And then I have column gap as well. And I can reduce that and take it away and have this kind of display that doesn't make any sense at all unless you have a little bit of division there. So let's take it back to a reasonable amount. Right. I think that's more reasonable. Content padding will bring in your content a little bit if you need a little bit more focus for it. And then you have content padding, which you will apply to the mobile. We'll have a look at that when we go to the responsive display and see how it looks on mobile. We may have to come back here and add some more. The rest will add spacing between the various elements and you can decide how much do you need for your post masonry. Let's update and then click here on preview to go and have a look how this then will display on the front. Here is Melissa P's travel blog. And as we scroll down through Melissa P's life, we get here and we think this looks pretty nifty. But then we say, let's have a look how this will display on a tablet. And I select here my tablet responsive display and I scroll to the same area. And I think it looks good. Everything is still manageable and easy to interact with. On our cell phone, it's still good. If you thought you needed more space here on the left and the right, that's when you will go back to this content padding for mobile and you will apply it there. But because we've already applied so much padding here, I think it already translates into the mobile and it looks pretty good. If you are running a blog site and you have a homepage that is static, it's always, always a very good idea to bring in an element that will display a list of your posts and that will help your viewers to the latest posts on your site or maybe specific categories that you want to draw their attention to. Because this post masonry block does such a great job at what it is supposed to do, that is the reason we give it the five ferocious cats rating, the top of the line you can get here at Websites for Beginners. See you in the next video. I am JP.